Hey, hello, welcome back to ITN. So, I hope you guys have uh, got your free account, you've got your set up your budgets, and now you have actually um, configured uh, the resource groups, the VNets, the subnets, uh, which we covered in the last session, and also you have got your uh, Ubuntu virtual machine provision. Now, uh, provisioning is one thing, right? I mean, yes, we have done it. Now, in this session, we are going to look at what are the things that are required to connect a virtual machine uh, from your laptop or from your uh, any other workstation that is uh, connected remotely. I mean, uh, you want to connect those uh, Ubuntu server which is on Azure and you want to connect it from your laptop via internet. So, uh, since we are going to touch base, uh, I mean, we are going to uh, connect to a Ubuntu server. So for that, the option is SSH and it will be port 22. And we have seen in the last session that we had enabled port 22 in our networking uh, section, right? Great. So, so for the remote connectivity, it is all set. Now, in this session, we are going to look at the tools that we will use to connect to uh, Ubuntu server. Okay. Great. Um, I'll see you in the session. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So in the last session, we saw how we are going to provision a Ubuntu based Linux virtual machine, right? And uh, in this session, we are going to look at how we are going to connect to, to that virtual machine using PuTTY, right? Now for that, before that, we can we need to find out uh, some details uh, by which it will help us in connecting the virtual machine. So for that, what I do is I click on resource group, okay? And then I click on the Pro IT RG1. That was the resource group that we had created, and we had provisioned our Ubuntu server in that resource group. So I'm now connected to uh, that uh, resource group Pro IT RG1, right? And then in that we are going to click on Resources. That is, we have to scroll down a bit. And then we have to click on web server 01 yeah and we have to click on web server 01 okay so it will take a moment uh, before it provides the information all right so as you know um, if we have to connect a virtual machine over the cloud that means if I have to connect the virtual machine from my laptop uh, to the virtual machine which is provisioned on Azure it has to travel by a cloud so for that we would need a public IP address right and here is the public IP address right so I'll click on copy here now what I do is I go ahead and open my putty as you can see my putty is up and running now for, for me to connect to the virtual machine what I'll have to do is I'll have to first give the user ID which I'm going to use so I'm going to give the admin ID which I had created uh, for provisioning this virtual machine right now this is the admin ID then next I have to get the at the rate and then next we have to give the public IP of this virtual machine so it is I've already copied by by clicking out here copy and then uh, I'll paste it here yeah now this is done right um, and then what I can do is I will give a name to this connection so that I don't have to worry about typing all this information again um, so I'll give the name as web server 01 okay and then I click on save okay great then I click on open okay so out here I get a warning saying that this is the server uh, host is not cached in the registry you have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is 
and I I'm I know that um, the server which I'm trying to connect is the one which uh, I've just copied uh, with the public IP address so I'm fine with it I I'll click on yes right now now as you can see it is connected and it is asking for a password so I need to provide the password which I said earlier oh, while I had created this machine so I'm keying in the password and I hit enter all right now as you can see uh, the virtual machine is created I can um, sudo into it all right and then I can actually uh, go up and do ls so as you can see uh, these are all the directories which are there in the uh, virtual machine so this is how we actually go ahead and uh, connect a virtual machine uh, or Linux based virtual machine to uh, which is provisioned on uh, Azure okay great um, next in the next session we are going to look at how we are going to provision a Windows based virtual machine and how we are going to connect uh, using RDP right so connection to Linux is different I mean for Linux we connect it through SSH and we use putty tool uh, for Windows it's different and we use RDP tool we are going to look at it uh, in the next session all right please do subscribe to the channel by clicking on the um, subscribe icon and get the updates by clicking on the notification icon right thank you and keep watching keep learning until next time thank you